finally on vacation. We're staying here at our villa. I'm gonna pronounce the name wrong, so I'll come back to you on that, but this is an amazing spot. Here's our golf course, we're going to dinner. There's our villa right behind you. Let me show everybody. Yep. How nice that is. It's beautiful. So we are going to dinner tonight, and I'm gonna be the chauffeur, and then I'm gonna take us, so let's go. You ready? Yep. So let's go to dinner. You ready? This is our ride. Gracias. Bye. Good morning. We're going to have breakfast soon. Good morning. What are you eating? Pancakes. Pancakes. What do we have so far? Some fruit and pancakes. Ooh, we haven't done a proper tour, so we're going to have to do a proper tour later. Yeah? Of the house. Look at this amazing view to celebrate today just mommy and daddy time say hello hola hola como estas hola Bien. look at this how nice is it okay so we're taking a few photos because the scenery is absolutely Gorgeous. So, you having a good day today? Yes. Press is a little cray, but yeah. I'm not her. She's taking a nap right now, so this gives yeah. us some time to go out and have a few margaritas and just relax as husband and wife. Hey, you good to go? Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah. Yes. This is a nice little area we have. Cheers. So I think today we're gonna have margaritas, sit by the pool, relax, and take a break from our daughter. She's been uh, a little crazy today, but we love her always she's just so just into everything right into the water into the pool into swimming into just everything which is exciting and we like that and she's very curious when she meets other babies too so she gets excited and really happy and sometimes she leans in for a kiss which is hilarious anyways we're gonna enjoy the rest of this day and we'll film a little bit more later okay we're back home from the pool Look how dark I got. I literally was barely in the sun. So my hat is lack of color. My bikini is TJ Swim. And that's what I wore. I actually wore a different hat and it was just the matching bucket hat to the bikini. So we are traveling with our nanny. So we need rooms and you really can't get rooms at hotels. So right now we're um, doing like an Airbnb and this is the villa behind me that we got and the nice thing is is that it has access to the Esperanza hotel which we love we originally just wanted to stay at the Esperanza but they didn't really accommodate three rooms or more and so this is the villas or the residences at the Esperanza and we have access to the hotel and also a private beach club so we could still enjoy all the amenities which was where we were earlier we we're at the pool at the Esperanza um, we had a cabana there um, so if you guys you know are you have more than one kid or you have one kid and you also want to travel with other people or other like a nanny or something but you need something bigger than a hotel room or like bigger than a suite also it just costs way too much excuse me <laughs> if you're gonna do it that way um, so this is nice it comes with a golf cart and that's how you get to the hotel it's super close so here is the house here's the golf cart and the nice thing is that it comes with a chef and a butler and an extra person that helps out. Um, so here's the entrance right here. 
and then it's a four bedroom by the way so really pretty it has its own pool excuse the mess we've already made ourselves comfortable there's jamie there's like a full bar right here Presty's here we rented all the baby gear from a rental company and then here is the living area the dining and then here is the kitchen area where they cook and then this whole area all of the windows even there they all open up um, but we like to keep it closed <laughs> and then there's like a barbecue pit right here and there's like a nice little sitting area right there with a fire pit there's a jacuzzi and then here's the pool with lots and lots of seating here's another fire pit with seating and then there's a full-on like dining table then more seating here the pool's gorgeous there's the ocean then you have your neighbors it's literally just so pretty then if you have like pets or you just you know want to walk your baby on the grass there's like grass areas here and then here is like the other bedroom then there's like i think this is called bocce ball right and yeah hi press hi press hola hola no okay okay bye so here is the first guest bedroom. It has its own bath. And here, closet. And then right across is another guest bedroom. And again, it has its own little sitting area. Bedroom has like a garden view. Then there is a bath. I love that they have like separate Oh no, actually this is not separate, but here's a shower and the toilet. The closets are nice and spacious. Here's the stairs going up. It's nice because it has like a little gate, thankfully, for Presley Bear. So we're gonna go in her room, which is nice because it has two beds. And then again, we rented a full-size crib, which is so cute, so comfy for her. It has a little couch, um, the shades, bathroom shower and then you know the drill and then we head on over by the way there's a washing machine here when we head over there's like a little office area up here with the tv and then here is our master so there's just like a extra little space for a closet and here it is this is where we are and then there's patios right out there it's beautiful and then our room also has a little tub double sinks there's the toilet with the bidet stand-up shower and the tub so that's basically it I need to go take a shower and get ready for dinner tonight. So tonight we're gonna have dinner at Bar Bowl at Las Ventanas, which we love this restaurant. Look how beautiful this is. Just on the rocks. It's like you can't swim, unfortunately, on this side of Cabo, but like the rock formation is really pretty. Yeah. There's like a ton of crabs on them. There's a lot of crabs. The tide is uh, picking up, so we can only stay out here for a little bit longer. And then we're gonna go relax by the pool. Just wanna say hello to everyone. I wanna tell them what I'm wearing. What are you wearing? Lack of color hat, the Tega Sunnies, triangle bikini, and dish shirt. And I'm wearing a Lululemon workout shirt. <laughs> because I worked out earlier and sunglasses <laughs> and then uh glasses or Saint Laurent which is yes. Saint Laurent Saint Laurent Saint Laurent those are my sunglasses Saint Laurent Saint Laurent so we're about to get a massage <laughs> go ahead and drink your water 
and I need to hydrate. And yeah, I'm a little concerned because Presley just woke up from her nap. Her cheeks are a little rosy, but her cheeks are, I feel like, always rosy after the sun and then while she's teething. So, you know, as the new mom, I'm like paranoid. So I hope I can enjoy this massage and not think about that. But I'm already stressing. I'm already stressed. <laughs> I'm not stressed. I'm relaxed. <laughs> are the dads ever stressed? The dads are... Oh, there's... Oh, my God. My hat. She lost her hat. Oh, it's right here. Oh yeah, I'll give you guys a tour of kind of the spa. That's the entrance. <laughs> it's not really a tour, this is just the outside. I'll show you guys the koi pond. Oh, look at these koi. Oh, they want something. Feed me. This is the outside of the spa. Sorry, I don't mean to make you guys dizzy, but this is the entrance, which is really nice. Hello, family. Hello. Hi, Presley. Presley had her morning swim. Now she's having her lunch. Hola. Hola. Did you say hola? Oh, she's busy. You go to Sesame Street. Well, hello, gorgeous. Happy Mother's Day. I know. Well, tonight we will, because tonight, tonight is a night to remember. Why? Yes. Actually, ooh, that's nice. We're having dinner over there. How nice. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. We had a good day today. We had massages. Mm -hmm. Start of the day with flowers yes. for her, and then we had massages by the ocean, which was really nice. And then we took Presley swimming. We spent a little time with her because she loves water. We She's had a, a really good baby. lunch after the massage, oh, yeah. and then we took her swimming. Yes. For a second swim of the day, she's been swimming twice a day every single day, so she loves it. She gets really upset when we take her out. Yeah, she so. doesn't ever want to leave the water. Water baby for sure. And then tonight we're gonna have dinner. We'll take you with us. Back to our reservation community. Oh, how nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yay. Welcome again. So for Mother's Day, I surprised her with a uh, dinner by the beach, which <laughs> looks incredible. <laughs> so for Mother's Day, I wanted to make sure I did something special. Because last Mother's Day, it was special, but I really wanted to make this one really special. Today was a great day. I love you. You're an amazing mom. Preston loves you. The best thing to ever happen to this beautiful child we're raising. And I just feel so special watching you and Preston. I love you. Hello, good morning or good afternoon. It is Monday. I don't know the date. Um, hell, I don't know even the year what, that we're in sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's our last day here. I'm all packed up, packed up for Presley. Jamie's the only one that needs to be packed. the entrance. I always like this entrance. It's so nice. So we are, you know, 
relaxed a little because I packed and just wanted to be done with that before going and enjoying the day since we're leaving tomorrow. Um, earlier today we looked at some properties. We are kind of like dabbling the idea of investing in a property out here since we always come here but also making it an Airbnb. So if you guys you know have experience with Airbnbs, let me know how your experience has been so far. So we already got our first investment property in LA and then we're thinking a second one maybe here, maybe not, maybe another one in LA or somewhere else. But yes, so that is what we did this morning, looked at properties. They were beautiful. Um, so now we're just gonna have lunch and enjoy the pool and then when Presley wakes up for her nap, then we will come back and take her on a swim. Today's the last day and we're really sad about it. So we're gonna make the most of it by enjoying our day, relaxing like we've been doing. <laughs> See? Yeah. Such an amazing view. You ready to go to the beach? Huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, the, it's, I don't think she would like this, it's too rough. Yeah. What do you see? Yeah. Oh yeah. Everybody say hello. Hello. Say hi. I... <laughs> hi. <laughs> Presley, you Let's having a good hello. time? Say hello. She's having a great time, she loves the golf cart. It's her time to ride. Today is the last day and we are going to the private pool where we're going to take Presley Bear for a swim because that's her thing. Look and she is just on vacation. Oh, she wants to be on camera now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Right. Oh, yeah, you got it. Hola. Hola. Hey. Presley, you ready to swim? Say Presley yes. Bear, you ready to swim? Yes. Yes? Doesn't want to talk. Press! Hi! Are you so happy? She loves the water so much. She is so happy. Hi! See that big smile. She gets so mad when we take her out. She swims at least twice a day here in Cabo. She loves everything about it. Looks so good. Hola, como estas? So tonight, instead of us going out to dinner, we're actually gonna have dinner here at the villa, which we're really excited about. They're preparing fajitas, chicken steak, veggie, with chips and salsa, some ceviche. We've had ceviche every single day because the ceviche here is so amazing. And we're really sad because we leave tomorrow, but we've had a good trip. It's been an experience. Presley's loved it. Uh, Naomi's loved it. We've all loved it, but I'm gonna miss this place. It's absolutely gorgeous. All right, you guys. It is about a week. Yes, almost a week. Um, since we've been back from Cabo, I'm wearing my glasses right now because I'm getting a LASIK consultation on Wednesday. Today is Sunday, so in a couple days, like four, three days, <laughs> um, I'm doing my consultation. So this is why I'm still wearing my glasses. Anyway, I am, I've been just, very slow, you know, getting back on here to kind of give you guys a little breakdown of the Cabo trip. Let me fix my camera real quick. But yes, a little breakdown. I wanted to give you guys just because I know so many of you guys have DM'd me wanting to know where we stayed, um, where we ate. Just like fixing my camera again. So 
Um, we obviously went to Cabo. Uh, we took Presley with us. We did travel with our nanny. Um, a lot of people were asking how we were able to go to dinners and stuff like that. So we traveled with our nanny. This is not the first time we travel with her. We obviously have to work a little bit harder so that we can pay her those extra like, you know, times. Um, but for us, it's worth it. Jamie and I don't have family around us that can help us watch her. So for us, we're not lucky in that department. So we have to resort to our nanny, which we love, which we've been with for so long, like over a year. How we did it was we travel with our nanny. Um, she has her own room. She basically starts her day at noon. Um, all the way till Presley goes to bed at night. So we have her for like half the day and then we go take her swimming because it's our choice because we want to see her so happy. So we take her and the nanny swimming with us for the first part of the afternoon. And then, you know, once Presley is just like so tired, it's time for her to go back. Then that's when the nanny takes over. And then that's when Jamie and I have our time all the way. And then we go to dinner by ourselves while Presley is sleeping. So yeah, that's how we did it. And then this time around, we didn't stay at a hotel. Cabo has become a very, very like expensive nowadays. It's just like become the destination we usually go once a year every year sometimes twice a year um but now it's just like a whole different like story so many new hotels and amazing hotels are springing up we love cabo for us from la it's only like a two hour plane ride so that's why we go all the time it's just a quick shot you have so many things to do so many places to eat the food is amazing so that's the next thing i wanted to touch on you're gonna see actually i'm wanted to also apologize for this vlog being so spot like we wanted to vlog for you guys but we also wanted to be present so it was really hard so i don't know what this vlog even is to be honest but we ate the first night at the esperanza hotel which is where we stayed we didn't stay at the actual hotel rooms we stayed at the residences at the esperanza so it's basically a villa that you can buy like a house in the property so in this case we pretty much airbnb would this property from the owner um but we went through her website directly not airbnb but you know just for you guys to understand how we did it so we rented this house and it has access to the hotel which is what we wanted because if you're gonna rent anything more than two bedrooms at a hotel the price is outrageously expensive it's like it's ridiculous so it was way cheaper for us to go this house route um and do like that jamie and i really love hotel living like we love waking up leaving and then coming back and our room is clean um the nice thing about this one is that they offered that so they offer like a private chef they offer like a driver they offer a golf cart which we're able to take on our own so every time jamie went to get coffee he just jumped on the golf cart himself drove to the hotel went to the hotel cafe got the coffee came back and we, that's how we got around the property otherwise we want to go somewhere else like to dinners the driver took us so we kind of still got that hotel living experience so i will leave a link to the exact house that we stayed in down below because i don't think all of the houses offer that next thing was the dinner so i like t okay excuse my scatter brain so first time we had dinner at cochina del mar cochina del mar that's the restaurant at the esperanza their food is just no matter where you go on this property it's amazing it's literally one of the nicest properties in all of cabo so that was the first night the second night i believe we had dinner at arbol which is another one of our favorites it is at the las ventanas paraiso um, property which is another amazing beautiful property but this restaurant is gorgeous um it's where like you'll see all these trees it's like by a pool it's just breathtaking third night i think we went to manta which is another favorite. So Arbol, Manta, and Cochina del Mar, we've all been to before. We know it, we love it, so that's why we went back. Manta is probably our number one favorite restaurant. The food is out of this world. It's like Asian fusion with Mexican. It's like progressive, a very progressive menu. The flavors, I can't even explain. We wanted to go there two nights. We just didn't have the energy. That's how good this place is. It's at the Cape Hotel, which is another hotel that we love and have stayed at like I think three times. If you don't have kids and you want a hotel that's not too big and you just like go from your room to the pool quick and it's like super fun, super young, super vibey, like the Cape is so nice. And the view from the room, like the photos you'll get, woo. So that's that. Third night, Manta. Fourth night, I think we went to Rosa Negra. Yes, 
Rosa Negra is one of those restaurants where it's a party and you eat dinner at the same time. You go in there, people are dancing from the tables, there's a live DJ, and then they're like waving around their napkins and the waitresses are dancing, the music is loud, and they put on like a fire show, they put on like a drum show. It's like a lot happening at the same time. It's Everything is a show, even when they cook your food. It's like a fire. They're cooking the fire at your table table side steak with a fire it's like that like everything is a show which makes it super super fun the food is really good i highly recommend it if you want to go out for a good time especially if you like want to kind of be in a live setting but you don't want to be in a club highly recommend it however if you're only going to people to rosa negra then like just remember the portions are huge but we over ordered thinking like we'd be fine and it was way too much food the portions are big like big and then the fifth night which was basically the last night i think we just ate at home we had the private chef cook us um fajitas oh my god so good we dreamt about it we even actually ordered some last night because we wanted fajitas so bad that's how good they were so um and they even have a full bar and you know bartender at this house which was amazing so that was that again i will list everything that down in the description box below oh another thing was that we looked at properties in cabo as well you guys may or may not know jamie and i have an investment property here in la um and we're looking for another one so we also entertained the idea of doing airbnbs or doing an airbnb for the place that we would potentially buy in cabo um if you guys do airbnbs let me know down below how it is whether you like it whether you recommend it whether you don't recommend it i would love to know your experience otherwise um it's just because we go there so much that we thought why don't we just get a place similar to the place we stayed at where you could have access to the hotel um because that's what we wanted we didn't want to just stay at a hotel a house where we wouldn't be like seeing people we wanted to still be in the action and like like stay as if we're staying in a hotel but actually stay in a house that's that any other questions let me know down below in the comments and i will answer them for you otherwise i hope you enjoyed this body vlog thank you so much for watching